you wrote a beautiful article not long ago that I loved about how our, the, our worst enemy is our own inner voice mm. and that you are at a stage that you're, you do love your body, which I loved reading that mm. where you're like, I'm proud to go, yeah, I love my body. Mm. I'm not perfect, but this is what I've got, which is so liberating to hear. Do you still, are you, is that, well, I guess it is true because they're your words. Well, it was, a, it was a while ago that I wrote that. It was probably a year ago and things have changed since then, Monty. I'm pregnant now. You're bloody huge I'm now. Here, I'm in yeah. loose. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to admit, this is terrible. I was, I was saying to my girls, and this is in front of strangers today, I said to them, being pregnant makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> in front of your girls? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky they know you though. <laughs> oh, it's just mum. One of them put, dropped something in the news agent and I had no choice but to get down on the floor and help her pick it up. Oh. And then I was stuck on the floor like a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, help, you're going to have to help me up. And so she she yanked me and it, I'm scared I'll do my back because I've done my back twice in this pregnancy. Oh. Oh, so I was no. like, no, 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 no don't, don't pull me forward. You've got to pull me up. Right? So I'm like, there going, yeah, yeah. and there's a man looking like with a magazine going, <laughs> I'll ignore this. <laughs> I'm making, making those he heaving noises. And I said, oh, look, I'm so sorry, but being pregnant makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, mum, such a carry on. Um, but yeah, so ab about my body, um, it, pregnancy is hard. Mm -hmm. I think because I'm little, I'm like a chihuahua and I'm having a Dalmatian baby. Totally. Yeah. yeah. You know what it's like. It's, yeah. it's, it's terrible. But this, I mean, this was another breakthrough for me the first time I did it 12 years ago, that this imperfect body of mine can make a human that I love. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. And, it, and it's all sort of going okay, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's a bit of a mystery because you can't see his little face. I know. <laughs> Does it look like a gremlin? I know. <laughs> but it is incredible, it isn't is. it? It is. Uh, last week, though, I had a bit of a, a... I butted heads with my own body, if that makes sense, when I discovered I had um, gest gestational diabetes, mm -hmm. which about 8% of women get. Is it only 8% because mm. I got it? God, of course I bloody got it. 8%? Uh, did you get it this pregnancy or...? I got it last pregnancy, but I haven't had that scan yet. I'll oh. definitely get it. How boring. And I actually cried. I felt like a failure. Even yeah. though it's sort of, it's got nothing to do with how healthy you are or anything like nothing that. Nothing at all. No. It's your pancreas, isn't it? Doesn't <laughs> do something right. Well, how do we control our pancreas? <laughs> how scary is it? Because you have to prick your finger after every meal. Yeah. The first time I pricked my finger, I was like, ah, <laughs> bing. And then I was like, oh, okay, uh, that all. <laughs> <don't>, like, <laughs> It's actually quite satisfying. Oh God, then I got addicted to it. Yeah, as yeah. soon as I'd even have a glass of water, I'm like, what's my level at? And then I'd, you know, it was quite fun. Yeah. But it, I know what you mean. And you're like, oh, God. And also when there's so much going on, to ha then have to think about that as well. Yeah. But still, if that's the only thing during the pregnancy that goes wrong, you're it's, pretty lucky. It's pretty good. It's actually really good because it's making me think about what I'm eating a lot more. Yeah. My, Martin, my husband, was jokingly saying that I'm like a queen bee. And you know when the queen bee wants to make... A royal baby, yeah. she eats royal jelly. Right. She was, he was saying, Golden Gay Times and my royal jelly. Are they? <laughs> yes. Just keep. Oh, you can't eat them she, now. No, that's over. That's gone. But your doctor said to you, you're not allowed to put on any more weight. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, I think because of the diabetes thing. So ah. I've already put on 10 kilograms. Which is not very much for a pregnancy well, at three, all. Well, only two of it's baby at the moment. The rest yeah, of it is tuck shop arms and a little bit of goo and <laughs> fluids. And How? Full on is it what happens <laughs> to your body? Don't you sometimes you go, oh, like seriously, my areola covering my whole boob. <laughs> yeah, like I don't have any flesh there. It's just these pink discs. <laughs> it's revolting. Mine went dark brown. Oh. And then I saw my husband looking at my nipples the other day and I was like, they look like bullets. <laughs> Like, was he like, yeah, <laughs> they totally do. Yeah, and then I remember when I was younger looking at my mum's actual nipples going, they are so freaking big. And now I'm like, oh, my God, oh my that's God. me. Yeah. If you have a kid hanging off it for so long, no wonder they get like yeah. that. It's not glamorous, let's be honest, but it's, it's incredible at the same time.